Watch, Luxor! I'm really getting the hang of the Scepter of Was. Careful, sire! about being Pharaoh. <laughs> Not having to take a bath? <sighs> no. The power! <sighs> you see? Nothing to worry about. I know exactly what I'm doing. One powerful pharaoh. Are you all right, sire? Never felt deader. <clears throat> I just wish the scepter of wise came with an owner's manual. Cousin. Mom was supposed to babysit, but she got called into work, so I got stuck. Ew, you smell like my hamster cage. What? Now, Thomas, be nice and let's go. <laughs> What's your name? Don't worry about him, he works here. My hamster's name is Sponge Cake. I am King Tutankin Shetamun, the Pharaoh, ruler of all. I'm Thomas Franklin Carter, ruler of Sponge Cake. We're going to see the dinosaurs. I told you, Thomas, after we go to the Hall of Leaders. Hall of Leaders? Why would Cleo go there when she can be in the presence of the greatest leader of all time? It does seem odd, oh egomaniacal one. Come, Luxor. We must unravel this mystery. Abraham Lincoln. Now he's who I'd call a great leader. Where are the dinosaurs? Just a second, Thomas. I haven't figured out who I'm writing my school paper about. There are lots of leaders to pick from, like Cleopatra, Martin Luther King, and me, Tutankin Setamun. Yeah, right. You, a great leader? Please, the only place you lead is straight into trouble. Haven't you ever heard with great leadership comes great responsibility? And you're the last one I call responsible. I will have you know that I am completely and totally... What was that word again? <gasps> Where are the dinosaurs? Cleo, I shall show great leadership by my action. I will lead Thomas to the dinosaurs. Yes. No way, don't even... Hello? Hi, honey. Everything's cool, Mom. Hey, I wasn't checking up. I was just... Uh, okay, I was checking up. Nothing to worry about. Thomas is fine. He's... Uh, gotta go. Bye. Are you really a mummy? Yes. So you sleep in a mummy box? It's called a sarcophagus. What's your bedtime? I am all that is. I go to bed whenever I want. I can do whatever I please. Yeah, I definitely want to be a mummy. Wow, you're my second most favorite thing in the whole wide world. What could possibly come before the fun? T-Rex, king of the dinosaurs. Roar! 
Uh, I guess he is somewhat uh, important. But does he have a scepter of was? Uh, here we go. Got a report to write, and Tattenstein's got a dinosaur that he's gonna put back together. Uh, Luxor. <laughs> I'll get the glue, Your Majesty. <laughs> what you doing? <sighs> Same thing I was doing three minutes ago when you asked. through my notes and then Thomas 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 I am King Thomas Ankin to Ank Smokin Nakin <laughs> Lovely Hi I know you congratulations you should feel very fortunate hmm have we met Ah, yes. Uh, was it the Opet Festival in Abydos? No, it's me, Thomas. Wanna play? Uh, he can't, and I can't either. I need peace and quiet to write my report. Then I, as a responsible leader, will give you what you need. I will take care of Thomas while you work. Nope, never. Not gonna happen. Luxor, do something. Cleo, I'll keep an eye on both of them. Nope. You'll get finished with your report a lot quicker. Nope. You'll get the pharaoh off your back a lot sooner. Sold. Okay, Tad. You can watch Tom. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. But stay right here. I'll be up in my room. Any problems, come get me. Huh. Problems? I lead the whole world! What problems could a little five-year-old boy possibly cause? <laughs> Fun! My mom never lets me <laughs> jump on the furniture at home! <laughs> Banishing this child from my kingdom? To prove you're a compassionate and selfless leader? Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> Fun! So, then I can't throw him into the crocodile pit either, I guess. Sadly, no. Perhaps I should summon one of the gods for help. But what about showing Cleo how responsible you are, Your Highness? You are right, Luxor. I can handle this. I am the Pharaoh. I'm hungry. I want a snack. Okay, settle down. I will provide you with sustenance. Luxor, assist me. Uh, sire, uh, shouldn't I stay out here? I insist you assist me. You know I'm no good at snack preparation. And if they don't, I'll take care of it for them. Phew! I thought you guys took Thomas to the underworld. Why? There are no snacks there. I was just in the kitchen getting some food for Thomas. 
Then what is that doing here? No! And where is Thomas? Sire, your scepter! that it might make me look stupid. But hey, at least he didn't break it. <sighs> My little cousin's missing and all you care about is your scepter? Can't you even be responsible for five minutes? Don't worry, Cleo. I will find him. Trust me. Everything all right? Uh, sure. Everything's cool. Okay. Let me talk to Thomas. Thomas is busy now, uh, cause uh, we're playing hide and go seek and I'm it. Oh, Thomas! Uh, ready or not, here I come. Cleo, I'm playing mommy, not hide and seek. Mom, <laughs> gotta go. Is you, sire. Oh, this is terrible. I know. How could anyone ever think there's another me? Oh, I don't believe you, Tut. What? Okay, okay, I know. This is terrible and it's all my fault. I should have been more responsible. But we can't worry about that now. We've got to save Thomas. <laughs> Scepter, and I will rule over 
your day. Oh, it was so great, Auntie Iris. My mommy friend let me use this magic scepter, and then there was this really big dinosaur. Only they weren't really big dinosaurs because they weren't dinosaurs, but they were big. Th that's nice, dear. Now I better get you back to your mom's. Thanks for watching, Thomas Cleo. With that wild imagination, he is quite a handful. Bye, Cleo. Bye, Luxor. See you, mommy man. Finally! Now I can finish my report on great leaders. Look, Cleo, I acted pretty bad today, and I'll understand if you don't write about me. Even though I am the one who risked his life to defeat the giant power-hungry demon god and save your little cousin from certain death in the dreaded pits of the underworld, but, you know, it's okay. Uh, actually, Ted, I've decided to write my report on Cleopatra. What? But cheer up, Tut. You're the one I'm going to write about for my next paper. Tut Ankenseta Moon, the most impossible boy king in history. Thank you! I am honored! I think. Sire, perhaps we should return to your quarters and let Cleo do her homework now. Not yet, Luxor. This boy king has one more thing to do. A great leader always cleans up his own mess. <sighs> I'm already on it, sire. 